This video is going to be an update to a one I did a f uh, about a month or two back. Maybe it's a couple of months ago. It's called Bootstrap Studio and Media Queries. And I've had a little bit of flack about this uh, video. Um, so I'm just going to update, you know, like sort of about it. And um, I'm not really sure why I've had so much flack, but I have. Anyway, so this was... Uh, somebody had asked a question about how do you do media queries uh, using Bootstrap Studio, I think it was. Um, I know the question was in a Bootstrap Studio question, but the chap was having trouble with his media queries. And I said that basically what the truth is, and, and that years ago, maybe five or six years ago, when CSS3 came, which is a, a part of media queries, um, People, including myself, are building responsive web design with media queries. But I said that it's not it's not really relevant now because we have Bootstrap and Foundation Skeleton and many, many more uh, frameworks so we can use them. So anyway, the thing is, is that I'm going to put up a few uh, things to level it out a little bit there's this thing on uh, quora called what should i use bootstrap or media queries i've also got um another website media queries and this is all the all the ones that you would need for your smartphones your ipads um and so you could just take the stuff from there you know media queries for samsung's i think um i saw galaxy 3 there yeah uh, galaxy 4 galaxy s5 so you could just do that, just pinch the um, a thing for that. There's other genera generators, media query generators. Um, and I'm going to go, as, if you can see that at the top, great by example. So I'm going to go into that very, very briefly. Anyway, what Bootstrap Studio is, is there's absolutely no point if you're going to use Bootstrap Studio to do media queries because there's already media queries in Bootstrap Studio. There's already media queries in Bootstrap and there's also, these are in the frameworks themselves. You could actually put your own in, which you could still do that, but if you see a point to that, that's fine. I, I don't really. Um, and this is why, I mean, it's going to be time consuming putting media queries in when you've already got the media queries in the program you're using. Um, it it's it would be like the only reason I could see it for was for a specific like I said in the first video for a specific purpose for example you've got a, a definitive um, for example a, an iPhone 4 or something that's all you're targeting but I mean we don't target for specifics well certainly I haven't I've never been asked to um, but I mean this is why bootstrap and the like have come into play anyway if you wanted to do this, um, you know, like if you even in Bootstrap Studio, you could you could actually find a way to do that. For example, if you want the small thing there, that's extra small, all right. And you want the width, um, for example, to be uh, two hundred and fifty, two hundred um, two hundred and fifty pixels, okay. Um, and you can do it on here by the style attributes where, um, you know, like sort of that's a minimum width and the maximum width could be 260 pixels. See? So it changes on there if you look at the preview. All right. And you see in here, there's your 260. So if you had a, the device is 260 pixels, for example. You could still do it in Bootstrap Studio. Uh, and then you go to the next one, which is uh, like a, an iPad, and just put in 550 pixels. So now you would like sort of go along. And when you come to the the, um, the smaller version, it'll go in there all right for you. Um, and you could do that from the style up here. It's hard work because not only are you seeing the main stuff, you're going to have to, to do media queries, right? You've got to know your CSS because the, the media queries themselves are very simple to do. But what what you have to do sometimes is that on, on things like Bootstrap Studio, you have like um, some of the components and that you have hidden. 
if it's if it's for example and this is to um, to stop like too much blood on a smartphone pro perhaps but uh, there's a lot of things you can hide in in bootstrap studio when you when you don't know anything about css and you want to do something from scratch you have to play around with things like called um, invisible hidden and things like that um, visibility hidden and, and things uh, of things of that nature there's the the code for that but if you if you don't know that there's absolutely no point in you doing css qu queries I, I i mean like i've said i'll i'll put the links in to you know to to show both sides of the argument and that you know i know there's people on there agree with me there's a few of them you know i mean i think it's maybe a, a good thing to do if you've got a lot of time on your hand and you just want to learn it but anyway i'll um i'll just go on to something very briefly it's called <coughs> it's called uh grid by example it's by rachel andrew um a lot of you might have heard of that heard of her she's uh she's an english um web designer uh she's done lots of books on and, and i've bought one myself uh, a long time ago um and she's doing great, uh, this css grid layout for the time being and this is 2017 so in like say 2019 if anybody's watching this video they're gonna say oh well you're so out of date and all that well i'm not it's 2017 as i'm doing this so what you're going to do is that a lot of people are th uh how you're doing uh, css grids a lot of people are coming out with saying that media queries in this css grid are going to be lessened I'm not saying taken out totally but it could be lessened this is a new thing um i watched uh i, I didn't think it would be any good but i've actually watched I, I do respect rachel andrew for what she's done um and there's like videos that you can watch there's a video tutorial here um and where it is is that it's going to be a new thing a new responsive design tool um which is you know on and off like what you would get with bootstrap and that but it's going to be more flexible at, the, at this moment of time it's uh, august 2017 and it's only in uh i think it's only in uh firefox and do, 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 i can't see it i have seen it it's in firefox and uh, chrome i think at this time it's it doesn't have for uh, edge or internet explorer or opera um at this time so it's not i wouldn't use it now but in if you know how how net moves so fast anyway right getting back to this thing when you um you know export this right and i'll just go and prove my point about bootstrap of media queries okay so i'll just export that just for time and these is your assets right and your um if i just put that up and another thing I don't think a uh, CSS grid's going to do is for Vivaldi, Vil Valdi at the moment either. Uh, but nothing new on Vivaldi. It's, it, it's it's really uh, uh, it's sometimes very very difficult. To, uh, it doesn't have you know it's not as good as Chrome. I don't think. Right. So that's to prove that this is uh, where it is. Okay. So when you see boot the, the uh, thing you just go into an editor and you find this right so it's bootstrap dot min css it's in the bootstrap folder okay so just go down here in your assets right you've got a bootstrap see everything's so slow come on bootstrap right you want the css folder in the CSS folder, you'll have that. Okay, so we'll just do that. And then it's minif minified, right? So it's an absolute junk of a mess. Um, but I have something called Beautify CSS, which changes all that, and you can actually see it and read it. Okay. It has 7,683 lines of code. Okay, so on Bootstrap Studio. And that's for just the Bootstrap. Okay, so just to prove the point, right? If you use your find on your editor, you find and you look for, like I've done here, app media, just to prove what I'm saying is, is correct. All right. Okay, you see all these media, minimum white, ha minimum 
min width 768 and max width 991 pixels hidden small so like I was telling you like before that you use visibility and hidden and things like that this is what that was uh, medium minimum width 992 pixels maximum width 1199 hidden that's MD middle so this is this is what I'm saying is that this already you have your media queries in bootstrap so there's not really any like I said there's not really any point in my opinion for learning media queries and definitely if this thing takes off grid by uh, CSS grid and what I've heard about it um, I know it's a, it's a very new thing but it is taken it is taken a hold okay so I just thought um, you know I'll put these um, web addresses on for you and you know get back to us if you don't want to agree just get back to us and say why not um, but yeah so I just thought I'd clarify all that that you've already got your media queries in frameworks and for a design a web designer who you know they haven't got time to like put their own things in you know this is there would be for things like bootstrap there's been absolutely you wouldn't have bootstrap on that if everything else was it it was better on, on foundation is which i use mostly you wouldn't you wouldn't if say if media queries were the be all and end all and you were easy to do as not not the media queries themselves but the actual css in responsive design is not that easy to you know yours it's a, it's a right faff on um, if it was easy to do we wouldn't have bootstrap and that so anyway again thanks for watching and thanks for listening